You're watching ZTV. You're watching ZTV. Hey, dear ones, it's Zari from Z Writes Words, from Supernatural You, and from Supernatural Parenting with Patty and Zari. It's Friday, Q&A, 523, 2014. This is a, another wonderful day that the Lord has given us. Don't forget, grace is represented by the number five, and on the negative side, it's works. You know, that's striving versus working by faith. And um, 14, we're in 2014, that's the number of deliverance, Passover, double portion, and this is the 23rd. So basically you would look at 20 and then look at three by itself. So three stands for the Trinity. It also stands for a perfect witness. And um, the 20 stands for a tried and true, tested, like um, like silver and gold. Or they're tried and true. They're tested. They've been through the refiner's fire. And um, on the negative, the 20 would be... Um, like you have been tested, but you were found lacking and you don't want to be in that position. But we're looking at positive things because we're walking in the love and light of the Lord. And that's one of the benefits of walking in the love and light of the Lord is that he's giving us positive things, you know, on a daily basis. So the question that I want to answer for you today is I received this question was, how do you test the word? Okay, so one of the the ways that you can do does what the Bible says, it says, um, to, to ask, you know, to, you ask the spirit to say, did um, Jesus Christ come in the flesh? And if your word that's coming to you is coming from the Lord, they're not going to have any problem saying that. Of course, they're going to magnify Jesus with everything they have. Even if it's an angel talking to you, they're going to magnify Jesus with all they have. If it's a demon spirit that is talking to you, a demonic spirit, when you tell them to say that Jesus Christ came in the flesh, they're either going to change the subject or they're going to get angry and start manifesting and get buck wild on you. So that's how you know whether or not, you know, you test the spirit. Another way is like if you're in communion and the Lord tells you something, like I know um, the Lord has revealed somebody's um, destiny spouse to them or something like that. And they're like, what? I need some confirmation on that. And one of the ways you just ask the Lord, Lord, you know, please confirm that word. And he'll confirm that word and he can confirm it. He usually will confirm that thing through outside sources and stuff like that. So you have another witness. Because the Bible says that um, things are proven with two or three witnesses. So, you know, he'll confirm it other ways. But also, a lot of times, the Lord will give you a scripture, you know, and that's how he'll confirm the word when he's talking to you. So there are a couple different ways that you can test a word from the Lord. You can say, you know, please tell me that Jesus Christ came in the flesh. And if they don't, then, you know, you get out of there. You don't listen to that. And you plead the blood of Jesus and protect yourself and take authority, of course. And then if, if you are in communion and the Lord says something and you're just like, what, you know, then you just, you know, just ask the Lord, can you confirm that for me? He'll usually confirm with scriptures and things like that and then confirm with other people for you as well. So thank you so much for being here and for watching this. I hope you have a fantastic day, afternoon, weekend, and enjoy the Sabbath. Give the Lord as much time as you can and enjoy your family and your loved ones and then finish off your Sabbath with some excellent worship. You know, you'll be blessed. You know, your whole week will be so much better if you um, give the Lord a Sabbath day. You know, that rest is there for you so that he can restore you. And then remember, anything that you give to him, it's just like a tithe or a seed or anything like that. Anything that you give to him, he multiplies and protects the rest. And you want that. You know, you want your other six days protected. You want your other six days multiplied and blessed. And the Lord will do that for you. All right. See you later. Oh, also, if you um, tweet me on Twitter, I'm at Ms. Banks, M-I-Z-B-A-N-K-S. And you can always use hashtag SuperUbooks because I've got some excellent ones for you to get. All right. Bye-bye.